Good morning, my family and friends. Welcome to another morning devotion. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning on this Lord's Day. Can I begin with a question for us as believers? What should be our disposition today? Our duty. What should we be doing towards God today? For some of us, it is easy to give up because of life's challenges and the vicissitudes that are faced every day. It's easy to give up. It's easy to throw in the towel. But I want to encourage you on this lifestyle activity. I want to encourage you to do something that we are called to do as believers, regardless of our issues, and that is worship. We are called to worship God despite. We were made to worship Him. And that's what we need to do today. Despite the issues, the pain, the ache, faced with sickness and disease, God requires us to worship. The meditation comes from Romans chapter 6, verse 13. And it says, Give yourselves to God as those who are being brought from death to life and surrender your whole being to Him to be used for His righteous purpose. The Word of God to the people of God. We must magnify God's mercy because it gives us value. Because without God, we are nothing, condemned, ready to die. But because of His mercy, we have value. We have life and we have it forevermore. No matter what, we should always have a heart of worship towards God. And today, the Spirit of God appeals to us. We should offer ourselves as living sacrifice to God, wholly acceptable, which is our spiritual act of worship. God has called us to worship. And he didn't say when it's good only or when you're okay with everything. He calls us to worship always. And it is a rehearsal because when we get to heaven, that's all we're going to do. So let's give to God today. Let's surrender ourselves to him today. Let's give him worship. Father, thank you for believers everywhere. Indeed, for some of us, we are struggling under the pressures of this season, under the issues of this day. We are faced with so many hard decisions. We thank you nevertheless that you are with us and you have called us to worship. You have called us to surrender ourselves to give ourselves back to you as one who came from the dead to life. You have given us value and help us not to forget that. We didn't get it from anybody else or anything else, nor our intellect, nor our money, but we've got it only because of your mercy. And so may we be reminded today of our duty, of our lifestyle action, and that is to worship. And so I bless you as believers everywhere that we will call ourselves. And as the psalm declared, I say to my soul, soul, bless the Lord. We commit those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament. We pray the blessings upon them and their families. We commit our medical professionals. We commit law enforcement. We commit our educational professionals, including our parents. And the will of the Lord be done even this day as a new school week begins. We thank you that your power is over everything and we must honor you. We pray for the body of Christ. 
we serve today. Help us to honor you in all of our ways, to acknowledge you and you promise to direct our path. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. This is the day that you've made. Help us to rejoice, to be glad in it. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today as you give yourself to God as those who have been brought from death to life. Have a great day in the Lord.